hello sweet team welcome back to my channel this is sweet ajele i am so excited to be with you all today and i hope everyone is doing wonderfully well and boy you to low nueta agwene eshe to low flow no yes i know you're done with your goat meat soup so let's move on to our goat meat stew this stew is super delicious and you will not regret trying it let's get started in a blender i'll add some anise seed to that i'll add some cloves habanero pepper garlic ginger and a medium onion okay i'm just going to add everything and blend it together next in a pot i'll add my goat's meat so that I'll add my blended up ingredients. Yes, vanilla, ngomo, ngomo. <laughs> Sweet tin tins. I then added some water, beef seasoning, and some salt. Cover it up and bring it to a boil. Once it boils, I'm going to go ahead and give it a good stir. And I'm going to cook this until this meat is absolutely tender somebody was asking how many minutes do you cook it just keep cooking and if the water cooks out add more water until your meat is tender to your taste i needed some more salt so i've added a little bit more and i'll stir everything together and i'll leave it alone to do its thing until it is ready <laughs> while our meat is cooking i'm going to go ahead and prep one medium red onion or purple onion i'll slice that one up and i'll chop one large onion up to that i'll add one habanero pepper and blend it beautifully okay let's go check on our meat it is looking good so i'm just going to check the tenderness to see if it is ready okay and it is just perfect so i'm going to go ahead and fry this in some coconut oil which will infuse its flavor into it to make it taste absolutely delicious you may bake it if you prefer Our meat is ready so I'll get it out and I'll repeat the process until everything is nicely fried up. And there you have it. You may pick one if you wish. <laughs> Please don't be like me and finish half of this plate before you even start making your stew, okay? Now using the same oil I used to fry the goat meat, I'll add in my sliced up red onions and I'm going to fry this for about 5 minutes or until it becomes translucent. A better flavor i'll be adding in some star anise and two bay leaves okay this is important if you can get it please add it okay so it'll be frying together for the five minutes that i have given this or until our onions are translucent okay be sure to get it out before you add your goat meat you don't want people munching on this thinking is part of the meat okay so now it's time to add in some tomato paste and i just made some fresh one i will leave a link in the description box so you can check it out <laughs> and i'll fry this for an additional five minutes jake beno shimi koni o floor ango this is very important the steps that you use in making your stew will guarantee a super duper tasty stew 
Five minutes later, I'm adding in my blended ingredients, which I have onions and habanero pepper. And I'm going to give this a good stir and allow it to cook for about eight to 10 minutes. Our next ingredient to go in will be our homemade tomato sauce and I'll leave a link to that in the description box below for you to check out and I'm checking on my stew it looks good you can see oil beginning to settle on top meaning my onions have fried beautifully so I'll add in my tomato sauce rinse out the container add that water give it a good stir and we'll be cooking this slowly for about 10 minutes it's been about 10 minutes and it is time for us to add in our beef stock did you forget about that no that is where all the flavor is and you don't want to add any seasoning until after you've added your stock because it is super flavorful but i'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of shrimp powder which is totally optional but it takes my stew to the next level if you are not allergic to shrimps you do want to try this i'll give it a good stir cover it up and continue cooking it on medium heat until oil begins to settle on top of it which will be an indication that my stew is almost done now that oil have begun settling on top like i said our stew is looking absolutely delicious so it is now time for me to go ahead and add in our goat meat which will release its flavor into our stew and vice versa oh my goodness the entire house smells good and as you can see i nearly finished the meat Mm, please don't be like me i beg <laughs> yes yeah, so so i'm just giving it a stir and then i'll cover it up and allow this simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes and by then it will be ready <laughs> we are back remember our test to know there are no foamy bubbles around our bubbles our stew is ready so i'm just going to finish it off with some curry powder and then it'll simmer for just about five minutes and that's it our stew will be ready okay <laughs> Our stew is finally ready. Just look at that. Do you see all the oil that have settled on top? You can skim it off, which is what I always do. Two. what would you enjoy this with well this goes with everything kinky bangkun curry you name it plantains oh my goodness it goes with everything but we will be enjoying it today with some rice yes white rice so i hope i have inspired you especially if you've never tried goat's meat before this two series of goat light soup and goat stew should get you started and you will love it thank you all so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give your girl a thumbs up thank you share and subscribe if you have not done that yet if you're a new subscriber 
welcome to my channel this is sweet ajele thank you so much for subscribing and to the sweet team i love you all so so much until i see you in my next video stay safe keep loving each other and remember that the love of god and family is life's greatest blessing and guys bye y'all